Hello, uh, folks. Thanks for joining me. I haven't been doing videos much lately. I've been real busy, but I want to get back to it. Start 2023 with um, more education for people about where their food comes from and how that's important. Uh, we're, we've been in a period of food inflation, which has generally been much higher than those national inflation numbers you see and uh, the measurements by the Fed and particularly things like cost of living increases for people on fixed income, they don't keep pace with the higher rate of inflation in food. And that's going to get worse in 2023 and beyond. It's not going to come back down again because over time with inflation in particular and without getting into all that background, um, the fuel prices are higher and those persist through fertilizers and herbicides and the application of different um, uh, processes to agriculture and then the processing and transportation and packaging layers of fossil fuel cost cheap energy has allowed us to have cheap food that's going to change so these are my cows i want to talk to you more in the future it's about five degrees right now uh, here in vermont if it is that warm uh, we've just fed a round bale out for these girls and uh, we'll be back to talk to you more another day maybe when it's a little warmer for all of us supposed to warm up again spring will be here soon and i want to share with you more about food inflation about cows and other animals farming and why it's important for our nation and for our communities to return to more local agriculture, small scale, with animals and humans all better treated and closer together. That's the future to the energy costs in our uh, polluting industrial agricultural system. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Have a great day.